what's going on guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we're finally going to be jumping in to some f123 multiplayer gameplay be very exciting very fun as well mainly for a couple reasons one um we get to see how the racing is with the new handling model and two to see if uh just see if anybody is gonna cause chaos as well. But uh, in today's video, we're looking for clean racing, so hopefully we'll get some clean racing here today. But obviously, the first race is probably gonna be chaos because as you could tell we're jumping into Las Vegas, which, as we all know, has produced a lot of uh, jam-packed racing over the uh, over some couple uh, online lobbies I've seen. So. Uh, Let's jump into Vegas and let's go. Uh, let's go see what the carnage is all about. But now the five red lights, and we are now underway for Las Vegas for a nice little five lap race. This was actually the first actual race on F1 23 online, and you already <laughs> already carnage down to turn number one. And this is actually not my first laps onto the game. Um, I did a I forgot what I was doing beforehand, but uh, it was this lobby was pretty sweaty. Um, this first race on obviously um, after this lobby we what well, you see later in the videos that uh, there'll be all three different lobbies because I kind of want to get a little bit of like an idea roughly about uh, everything like that as you can already tell right away um, got some lags and uh, looks like I just got absolutely rear-ended and I somehow get a okay all right so I get oh there I go <laughs> I caught a little bit of air there um, so let me get this straight. I got a time penalty, but no one else did for cutting the corner. Okay. Great game. Very happy. Good. But as you can already tell, we uh, got a pretty good start. We moved up from like straight up dead last all the way up to P3, though, which is pretty good. Now we're chasing after the Ferrari. Um, and around Vegas, it's pretty chaos. As we already caught, we actually caught a little bit of air um, down into the one section of the track. So uh, let's let's make sure we don't do that again. That's for sure. But um, as you can already tell we're in the slipstream, almost hitting. Oh man, I, was, I just absolutely just. Well, I did the same thing as someone did to me earlier. I absolutely just rammed the back of Drippin and the uh, Ferrari driver. As you can tell, that Williams guy, the guy in the Williams, all the way up in the front, we pulled up 1.8 seconds. As I uh, don't know why he paused the game. Anyways, we're back. Um, that guy was pretty quick. Um, but as you can tell later in the uh, video that we do, we'll tell we build more of the confidence by already making a move possibly and dripping but you can already tell right now lagging a little bit on the straights um he's got a lag i got a little bit of a lag kind of got lag switch there that's a little bit unfortunate but as you can tell right there fighting the car in the exit um yeah i'll this that's one thing that this game is a little bit annoying to me is because obviously i'm a guy that <laughs> gets on the throttle i try to get on the throttle as quick as i can and um if i get on it too quickly I have to fight the car, which I lose time, which I'm trying to get a little bit better at not being like that, but you can already tell we're actually still acting like that, surprisingly, when the game literally came out like two weeks ago, and we're still acting like this, I can't believe it. Um, but I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, this, these lobbies were pretty fun to fun to play with, except, uh, you know, some of them involve with some bad drivers, some of them involve with good drivers, good and bad, you know what I mean? simple as that but anyways down the main the, the massive straight I already hit 216 miles per hour um in equal cars I, <laughs> that's absolutely insane um this vegas straight is gonna be chaos as you can already tell when we get the drs on this guy in the williams possibly you'll see on how powerful the drs is but anyways uh making a move on dripping we go take the inside line from him as we get that move done but then we run out wide and he runs us completely wide off the track thank you for that uh, gives us no space. Alright, thank you for that. And uh, now we will fight back a little bit again. So uh, we'll get DRS again. Get another dose to see if we can do get him down the straight though. We're gaining, we're gaining, we're gaining. Uh, I think he's dumping a lot of his overtake though and he's got much more straight line speed and he's gonna hold on to that advantage. So I think we're gonna wait until we get down that massive when we actually race, go down the actual strip. So uh, I think that's where we'll gain most of that time. But um, as you can tell, kind of coming through this little Mickey Mouse kind of part of the track uh, I, I don't really like that part of the track I'll be straight up honest 
it's hell. It, 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 it's hell. I'll just straight up be honest, it is hell. But anyways, um, possi possibility of a massive P1 movement. Um, because we're going to get Slipstream on both these guys. And DRS. And 8 tenths back from the Williams, as you could just tell right here. We're going to get the massive straight line speed. We get past the Ferrari. We're going to get past the Williams here once again. We're down the straight 222 miles an hour. But we're absolutely having a drag race at the Ferrari. Who's going to back out first? I don't know who will. Anyways, down to the braking zone. He breaks a little bit later as he might run us off track. And he does run us off track. I uh, have to fight this back a little bit. Hit the back of him. And we get clobbered into with the Williams. Great. Nice. Very good. <laughs> Um, very much a difficult thing to process, but um, we'll keep pushing forward. Um, currently P5 now. Uh, looks like we do got a three second gap with the Red Bull in front of us, so we should be able to get him a little bit here. So, oh, there we go again. Uh, I, those had to be the tire temperatures. There, those had to be the tires. Oh, yeah, look at those tire temperatures. 237 already on the... Uh, 235 234 now so yeah these tires are pretty hot in the rear so it's probably why we were uh, struggling a lot a little bit in this race but uh, having a drag race now with the ass and he just okay he just tried to take us out um, thankfully he didn't though but I see I got a collision warning for that so thank you game and now we're gonna be place playing defense again on this Williams and he's probably gonna get us down the straight I'm not even I don't know if he will fight this I don't know if he even has DRS though uh, he should have got the detection point, but I think he did though. But anyways, last up at the Grand Prix. Um, we probably could have won this race if we didn't get hit, but at the end of the day, things happen. But anyways, we're in the slipstream, and we have no battery left, but we have an overtake possibility down on this Mercedes guy. We're absolutely 220 now, no no overtake available, and we're going to just stream on right past him. As holy hell, that straight is OP. Like... If you got a good car, you're going to win this. But he's going to fight this back, though. He's dumping overtake as much as he can. There's no DRS through this section. We're running out of overtake here. Do we get him at the line? Do we get him? Do we get him? Yes, we do. And we get the fast lap of the race on the last lap. And we're going to hold on to P8, though. And that was it for race one. There's only three races in this video. Just letting you all know just right now. But we now move on to a different lobby. And we're going to go do a race around Belgium. Um, Spa, fun track, um, even though there's a little bit of a problem I have with this track, and that it's still not updated. EA, when are you going to update this track? Cody's, please update this track, it, it needs one, bad. But approaching, who knows, but we'll move on. For a nice little five lap race around Spa here, once again five red lights as we switch cars. We're now in the Alpine and we are now underway for this five lap race around uh, Spa. Uh, we got a decent stop. We didn't get we didn't get the greatest stop, but we got a decent one. And uh, now we have opportunity to fight as we get hit off track by the Alfa Romeo. And now we have to take a little bit of the escape road. All right, this game just hates me because we get a two second penalty. And okay, that now that that's a fair penalty right there. I absolutely just killed the Aston. And then the Red Bull goes off and we go around. Oh no. Already chaos down in the spot. Oh, we get hit in the rear. Okay, the have given okay that wasn't my fault. <laughs> oh my god, game. I don't know what it is. I am probably one of the most unluckiest blokes on multiplayer, I feel like, in this game already. And I won't lie, I was pretty unlucky in last year's game. But even like the, I mean, even in like the open lobbies I played a lot, I've been like. I'm my my own business, and then I get randomly. I'm like the one dude who goes from like P7 to like P last because someone hits me from behind. I'm like the only one who gets affected by it. I don't know if it's just me or not, or if I'm just very unlucky. What the hell was that guy doing? <laughs> what were we doing though? Um, who knows what we were doing? Uh, just being our usual dumb self. But uh, it looks like uh, we've fallen out of a chance to possibly get points in this race. Um, but we do make a couple moves though, uh, getting past a couple of these guys. We now got a five second time penalty that will come after at the end of this race. But everyone else got some time penalties up there. Time penalties up there as well. So we push on um, around Spa. Uh, I'm not running zero zero wings though. Um, some of the F122 setups I tried and 
integrate into F123. And again, it's it doesn't really work like that because it's kind of difficult to judge. Because again, I mean, new, you know, the new handling model, everything like that. It's it's a lot different. So uh, obviously, it's again. I mean, the setups have completely changed completely, and I feel like they do that in mainly every F1 game. I mean, that's just what I've been experiencing. But if people been running 22 setups on 23, and they've been working great for them that's fine I just for me they're just not working with me so fortunately um, we've been well actually we're fortunate enough to just go into uh, basically go into time trial and just get most of the setups as I could and just try to figure out I only did like the ones who like the top 10 and uh, just save the set okay um, I don't know if that was me or if he just lagged out, but that man absolutely just got murdered. <laughs> Poor Aston has gotten murdered, but now we're going to get in the slipstream of the Mercedes. Now we're going to go down the inside on the Mercedes as much as we can. Dump in a little bit of overtake there once again, and that moves us up into P9 in this race. It's now we're going to find a way to pull away a two-second gap, basically, in uh, about two laps around spot. I'm pretty confident. Uh, car feels good. Uh, pace, pace isn't quite bad. Uh, just a little bit of a struggle. It's, oh no! Typical jinxing myself like always, and the tires are gonna. Be, oh my god! We can't even do a pirouette. Can't even do a pirouette. There we go. Get back on the track. Come on. Get in the gear. Let's go. As I okay, I did not mean to block that. Oh, he's okay. Never mind. That rebel's disconnected. Um, one thing though is disconnecting from lobbies. They've been happening a lot for like what I've been playing. I mean, I've been. Fortunately, I haven't been disconnected, but I've seen other people get disconnected mid race, and I saw the race leader get disconnected from mid race, mid race, and uh, he probably wasn't having it. But we're gonna get P9. Um, well, probably P10 actually, because of uh, that penalty that we got. So this, that race wasn't too bad, but this one, I say, this one was my favorite. Um, for reasons, as you'll tell in this video. But anyways, the five red lights now are underway for Abu Dhabi. As we're going to get underway now for the Abu Dhabi GP for a nice little five lap race around this amazing track. Uh, different lobby as well. And one thing, though, that they did add into this game is they actually turned off first lap collisions. Um, I didn't notice that until, well, I was driving. So I was a bit confused because I thought this was a non-contact lobby because we did, because we've been in I think we did one non-contact lobby in F122 um, that was probably around one of like my more earlier videos I think and it's not obviously I like to have contact on but again it just makes it better but at the same time I mean first live collisions would be cool off because mainly because you know you won't get nerfed off so you can gain as many positions and then you could finally just sort your way out and then eventually you can have like a real racing as you'll see we're mo mainly at this point we're just racing for just to try to get a position to settle in so then once we do get so since when lap one is over contact will be on and then the real racing begins but anyways a uh, little bit ride that curve just a little bit a little bit almost lost the car just just tiny amount but thankfully we did save it and uh I feel like Abu Dhabi now in this year's game it's much more flowing um it, F122 wasn't it when it came to Abu Dhabi. It was very like I don't know. It felt I don't know if it was just me or not, but it was very like bumpy. I don't know. It just did not feel right. And F123 though, Abu Dhabi is ooh, it's great. But I'm a big fan of this layout. It's just much smoother. Thank God they got rid of all that BS of uh, the Mickey Mouse sections of the track, which were down at the end of the first sector and approaching the third. So thank you that as much uh, yeah thank you for that but anyways the Williams absolutely lost on the exit and uh, we're actually gonna get around this guys we yes we do we get now p3 we're up into the podium places already on lap two we're absolutely flying on this racetrack here do we set fast lap no we don't but we do sec set a purple sector one is that Williams might have a shot to go around the outside he does not get that move done the Mercedes takes too much curb there almost lost the car what a save from that guy but we're gonna actually sneak up and we're gonna get P2 in this race and now we chase on to the guy in P1 and he's pretty quick so uh, 
can we win a race? That is the main question as we now approach the last lap of this race. We hit the fastest lap, set four clean laps, but again, we got a Ferrari up here who actually disconnected and he's actually, if I would hope that he gets a blue flag because this guy in the Mercedes is going to probably get DRS on this guy, as I hope not, but anyways, we're going to be pushing like hell this last lap. Um, this is me truly kind of on the limit. But also not trying to make any mistakes, which we didn't actually make many mistakes. But again, this Mercedes guy is running a lot less um, wings, so he's got much more straight line speed compared to me. I'm running a, I think I'm running like mainly like preset. I think this is like maybe like preset three or preset two, just a little bit like increased downforce. But again, I mean, I don't know. Maybe this Merc is just able to run less wings. But I feel like again, I mean, we're just getting a lot. We getting a lot on this guy through the corners, but. Yeah, he gets another dosage of DRS. This Ferrari is just going to give him this win, basically, but it's still not over yet in this last sector. Again, this is where we're absolutely strongest on this racetrack here once again. We're going to push like hell through these last couple of corners, going through down into the whole hotel section. A little bit of a bump there. Uh, thankfully, uh, that doesn't affect us too much. Anyways, we might have a shot on this Merc. We might send one down. They said no, we don't. Oh, a little bit. Almost made contact with the back of him. But we're going to push like hell now through this last couple of corners. See who's flat out again. He might get us on this part here, but we're going to go out really. We're going to do the old switch route. Do we get him on the exit? Do we get him? Do we get him? No, we don't. Oh, we just missed out. Just missed out by like ninth one thousandth of a second. Oh, my God. That was that was fun. Um, that's why that was my favorite race. So as you can tell, it's a podium, though, which I'm very pleased with that. I'm not going to complain, but... That's all I got in today's video, y'all. <laughs> That's all I got in today's video. Uh, I just wanted to do a multiplayer video because, again, I mean, we've been doing breaking point in career mode. I think we just provide something else. So, first time playing F122 multiplayer. Pretty fun. Just uh, hopefully the disconnecting things can be resolved in the future. But that's all I got in today's video, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video. And most importantly. Have a good rest of your day. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. But anyways, have a good rest of your day, y'all.